Hey everyone, welcome. Hey everyone. In last week's video, we showed you the performance difference between the Intel Core i9-9900K and the Ryzen 7 2700X. Yeah, in this week's video, we're going to show you the performance difference between a single GTX 1080 and the GTX 1080 in the SLI configuration. Yeah, So, indeed. is SLI in 2019 still a good choice or is it rubbish? Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Um, yeah. We've tested uh, multiple games with uh, with the configuration, uh, yeah. both on uh, 1080p and 4K, yeah. uh, to see the difference, uh, you know, between the cards in, in SLI on AMD and Intel. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a look. Yeah. So we're gonna kick off with GTA 5. Uh, this was run at uh, full HD uh, on the Intel and the Ryzen single GPU and SLI. Uh, the single GPUs are listed on top and the SLI configurations are listed on the bottom. And you can see it scales um, quite well, we might say. Um, it requires no additional configuration whatsoever. It just works. If we pump up the resolution to 4K, uh, we can see a massive performance impact on the frames per second. And note this is run on uh, FPS 0.1% uh, low, 1% low and FPS average. But you can still see the SLI is a huge advantage over the single uh, GTX 1080. And um, yeah, you will see that in the frame rates as well. Let's have a look at Far Cry 5. This game is run on Full HD, on Ultra Preset, and this game natively supports SLI. Um, as you can see here, uh, the Intel is uh, uh, quite a bit ahead. Uh, so this game yeah, prefers the Intel over the AMD. Intel's just faster, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. well, <laughs> we'll have a look at it later on. And um, as you can see on Full HD, the, the scaling of SLI isn't as big of a difference um, as it would be on 4K, as we can see right now. A way better improvement over uh, the yeah. 1080p. So yeah, for um, a native SLI game, um, it scales pretty well, Yeah, on 4K at least. Yeah, on 4K, Ultra Preset, DirectX 11. Uh, this game only has DirectX 11. Yeah. Uh, you would still experience some stuttering, as you can see, on uh, on 4K, on SLI as well. Um, you're not going to hit 60 steady. No. So it will drop. So let's move over to the next game, which is The Witcher 3. Yeah, this was run on Ultra Preset, HBAO Plus, NVIDIA Hairworks was turned off, uh, sharpening on a very high DirectX 11, of course. This game has native SLI support, but as you can see, it doesn't scale up to 100%, but it will get you a decent performance improvement overall. Yeah. If we run this game on 4K, you can see the difference is even bigger. Percentage-wise, indeed, um, it, it runs uh, uh, like a little bit the same scheme as um, Far Cry. Yeah, uh, res results are almost the same. A nice SLI game as well, and still a very good game in 2019. Let's move over to the next game. Yeah, Hitman is one of my favorite games. Um, and as we can see here, Intel is way ahead again versus the AMD. Yeah, there's a really big difference. Mainly on single GPU, it doesn't scale at all. In fact, it has a performance decreasement uh, in an SLI configuration. Indeed. If you have a look at this game uh, in 4K, yeah. uh, we can actually see SLI improvement. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a big improvement. Um, in this case, um, one of the rare cases, AMD is ahead yeah. on, uh, on SLI uh, by quite a bit. But yeah, that's... Uh, Let's move on. <laughs> um, it doesn't support native SLI. Nope. Uh, so you need to uh, load a different profile to get it to work. Yeah. As you can see in the video now, this is the profile we used. We will link the profiles in the uh, description as well. Uh, yeah. So you can use it and test it out for yourself um, if you ever want to run SLI or are already doing SLI. All right, next game. Mm. 
next game will be Resident Evil 2. Uh, this is a remake uh, from the classic Resident Evil 2. A really decent game, but very resource demanding as well. Uh, it doesn't have native SLI support and you can see it in the charts very clear. It runs better on a single GTX 1080 than it does on a 1080 in SLI. Yeah, indeed. So this is Full HD, let's have a look on the 4K. We can see the SLI skills a little bit better, um, especially on AMD, again, yeah. yeah. Intel is a little bit behind on the average, and the 1% and the 0.1%. <laughs> <laughs> Intel is pretty much a little bit behind on everything, um, with the SLI configuration. So it skills, uh, it skills better on, um, on the AMD. Yeah, this is on DirectX 11, you want to say something, Chevy? Hmm? 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 No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is 4K, let's move on to DirectX 12. So, with DirectX 12, we can see we have a little bit improvement on the Intel. Um, it's a little bit ahead on the AMD, on the SLI configuration, which scales barely. Yeah. Yeah, we have a difference uh, on the average of 19 FPS. Indeed. That's not much, no. not for a second GPU. The 1% and the 0.1% lows go up as well, so that's a good thing, but only on the Intel. Uh, the game barely scales. So let's see what impact it has on 4K on DirectX 12. And we can see it doesn't do anything at all, except the Intel on the 0.1% low has a, yeah, what should we call it, 7 FPS? Yeah, it's like a very big dip in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, what could be a reason is the GPU memory that's being utilized by the game. Um, we set everything to max settings. Yeah. And that... On 4K, it's almost um, 14 gigabytes. <laughs> yeah, so that's 6 gigabytes over the maximum of what this GPU has. Yeah. So we suspect that's where the stutter came from. So for this game, we used an SLI preset as well. Yeah. But we used it um, a little bit different than normally. Yeah. Resident Evil 2 isn't in the list of games that is in um, NVIDIA Profile. Yeah, supported SLI like games. Yeah. No. What we did is we opened the SLI profile of Batman Arkham Origins and we added the executable of Resident Evil 2 HD to this profile. Yeah. Uh, since it, it, it wasn't selectable in, in the list, so there was no other way to get it running. No. So the next game is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, this one is Full HD as well and uh, DirectX 11. And uh, to note that this game is run on eight times an anastrophic filtering. We chose to do this because we only wanted to use the highest preset and leave everything as it was True. on that highest preset. Um, as we can see on uh, this game, it doesn't have SLI at all on DirectX 11. Uh, Intel is an advantage here. Yeah, Intel is better on single end SLI. But yeah, like it doesn't have SLI on DirectX 11. Nope, not going to work. In the next chart, we can see the same results on 4K. Also, no SLI support. Not on DirectX 11. Nope, nope. Uh, not much else to say here. And then we've got DirectX 12, where, surprisingly, SLI, or multi-GPU, scales pretty good. Yeah, Intel is on the moon. Yeah, on Intel it scales uh, massively. On AMD, a little bit less. It's a really big difference. Yeah. It's, uh, Note, the, to the Tomb Raider must be set to um, exclusive full screen. Yeah. It doesn't work on borderless or on full screen. And SLI must be enabled in the NVIDIA control panel. Yeah. Then on the 4K results, we see uh, a great scaling on uh, both uh, platforms. Yeah, this is what we want to see. Yeah, AMD a little bit ahead on 4K. A good thing to note that if you run uh, the game on exclusive full screen from the uh, uh, settings window that the game starts with, the game will crash on 4K. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, most likely. we had some issues with that. Uh, if we set this up when the game is running, so in, in the presets from the game itself, um, you can restart the game. It will, it will run perfectly fine. It, it didn't crash with multi GPU whatsoever. Then 
then we have Battlefield 5. This game was run on Full HD as well, of course. Um, note it was run on Ultra Preset, but with a future frame rendering on and the GPU restrictions off. This is the DirectX 11 one we have in front of us now. And you can see it doesn't have SLI support, or so it seems. Yeah. When we started benchmarking this game two weeks ago, I already ran a few benchmarks uh, on, on Battlefield 5. And it's running on SLI pretty well. This was a video I shot before I uh, switched to Intel. And it was a test run uh, to see the, yeah, the FPS counter, the little setup I made for, yeah, for maybe a benchmarking idea kind of video. Um, yeah, glad I kept it. But uh, last week Origin uh, rolled out an update for Battlefield 5. After installing this update, and it was an automatic update, SLI was pretty much broken. Yeah. There was not an option to enable it anymore, and it was working pretty well. Um, but you couldn't just you just couldn't enable SLI anymore. No. We tried all different settings. It didn't work. Not on DirectX 11. On DirectX 12, we knew it didn't work. But on DirectX 11, it it, it worked like a charm. But now it uh, it doesn't anymore. No, they they broke it completely. Um, it's not the first time they broke it. No. Uh, the thing that happens is the NVIDIA control panel basically forces a single GPU. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, you can't set it to alternate frame rendering, it will just put it back on single yeah. GPU. Yeah, once you launch uh, BF5.x, yeah. it will just uh, reverse the settings you made and it's uh, go ahead, it's on single GPU, have fun with it. Yeah, the game, um, when it came out, did support SLI. Yeah. Um, there was like uh, uh, there was an NVIDIA driver, the 416.34. Yeah, I believe. Which um, even included an SLI profile for the oh, game. Oh, well, I think in that driver, they re-enabled uh, alternate frame rendering uh, for this game. Yeah. So uh, there, were, there were already issues with SLI, mm -hmm. but it, it was working. Yeah. And it was working pretty good. Yeah. And now we've tried... Basically everything we could think of. I gave and, up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gave up. It doesn't work anymore. No, it doesn't work. If you have a look on the 4K side, and this is where the, the SLI scaling really shined in this game. With single GPU or not working SLI configuration, you can see it's, it's pretty much unplayable. Yeah. You can't even hit 60 on this game. A really tough game. So please, DICE, bring it back. Then if we move on to the next one, we have Full HD on DirectX 12. Well, as we mentioned before, this uh, on this side, multi-GPU wasn't working anyway. So yeah, no performance gain for SLI in this part. If we look at DirectX 12 on uh, 4K, yeah. we can see that the single scores are about the same as DirectX 11. Yeah. Um, but the SLI scores are a little bit down just from having a second GPU in there, even though it doesn't do anything with it. Now, it's negative scaling in this yeah. case, but this is uh, really within margin of yeah. error. So those were the benchmarks. We ran seven games. Indeed. Um, as we can see, um, it, it kind of evens out between Intel and AMD. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, Intel it is does. faster. Not on every game. Only on good games. Yeah. Yeah, the, the DirectX 12 part of Resident Evil um, was not very playable no. on 4K. With a lot of stuttering. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. And you can see it uh, in the results, of course. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider scaled really well on multi GPU on DirectX 12. Yep. On, yeah. on both platforms. Yeah. Very smooth gameplay. Yeah. Worked really nice. And uh, yeah, Battlefield 5 is just yeah, one big um, One big mess, mess. really. Yeah. It, it's just a shame. It was working so well yeah. in this game. And, and now it's gone. It's gone. They just get, yeah, well, run on one GPU. You have no SLI. No. And, and the, the stupid thing is, you can't configure it with SLI bits with NVIDIA Inspector. But if you, uh, as you pointed it out, if you edit it manually in NVIDIA Control Panel, it will just uh, in bold single GPU. You set yeah. it to alternate frame rendering one, you fire up the game, yeah. and it's set to single GPU again. Indeed. So it's yeah. It seems like it's something that has changed in driver and uh, on part of well, Battlefield. Well, something to mention. Sorry for interrupting you, but the driver we used for all the benchmarks is a 417.71. Yeah, that's the driver we used for all the games. Um, so the driver was still the same. 
Mm-hmm. The only difference is that EA pushed a update for Battlefield 5. Yeah. It could be there is a bug within the gameplay of some sort in Battlefield 5 and yeah. therefore they uh, turned SLI off. Or they, well, broke it. Yeah. <laughs> they did something with it and, um, yeah, no, I can't get it. I don't know why. No. It's a bit of a shame it's, n- it's not working anymore. But it does work on GTA 5, still a popular game. Yeah. Uh, the Witcher works, which works pretty well. well. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. It runs fine. Looks good. Runs fine. Um, Resident Evil with some tinkering it works. It works. Yeah, Hitman at, at least on DirectX 11. On, on DirectX 11, yeah. Yeah, Hitman. Um, yeah, works as well. Works as well. Um, scales better on 4K. Yeah. but uh, yeah, it works. W- would be the reason to install a second GPU anyway. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, you don't really need it on single. No, maybe if we can get our hands on a, um, a 2080 Ti, it would be fun to see the difference between the SLI, SLI and the configuration of the, the Pascal generation yeah. and the Turing series. But if the game doesn't support SLI at all, yeah, you'll be down uh, half the performance. Yeah, or if SLI is removed halfway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if they remove SLI support, yeah. yeah. Yeah, then you are better off with one powerful GPU, like the 2080 Ti, yeah. for example. Yeah, um, yeah. we hope that SLI is being you know, supported by developers uh, throughout um, a lot of years to come. I and, hope so. Uh, yeah. Really. And, and not only SLI, Crossfire as well, but Crossfire as well. Red on 7 doesn't even have Crossfire anymore. Yeah, so. but well, with the new... Indeed, but with the the, the the new technique and V-Link, which is basically a slide. Basically, but way faster. Yeah, indeed. From what I've seen, um, I might try uh, a second GPU uh, for myself. We'll have to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, we can expand our benchmarks. Yeah, indeed. Uh, overall, it looks uh, it looks it looks good uh, running a slide right now in 2019. Yeah. So, what do you think of SLI? Do you run it yourself or do you stay away from it? Uh, we'd like to hear your experience, so just leave it in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll have a look at them. Yeah, with that we will conclude this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, you can leave them down in the comment section as well. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.